pulled in here you know we passed blue beacons and they're so busy we like we've had some great experiences these little off the beaten path washes that i think some local guys open up and then you know and they care you know look at them soft brushes they clean the crap out of it so anyway we'll see how this works we you know we stopped in uh where were we baby kentucky mm -hmm. got the truck wash there we got all kind of winter road on there it was raining and salt still on the road and all kind of grime i hate i was next to my friend james that i met and he's clean because this is maiden voyage basically and we're hard <laughs> road hardened <laughs> but we're gonna get it clean now before we get to florida it'll get a little more dirty before we get there but not as dirty as it was jeez I forgot to start filming. So we're in south middle Georgia. We got the rig pretty clean. We're close to Vadasta, Georgia. That's where we are. truck's gonna block my Florida sign. Got a little sparky here. Well, we made it to Florida. I don't know if you can see I-75 over there is backing up because there was just a pile up. Good thing we got off at the rest area. Wouldn't want to be in that. Rather wait it out here and let them. When I see them go, then I know it'll be clear. That sucks. So I mean, 75 is insane. I don't know if you can see it back there. It's Friday, five o'clock traffic. We just passed Gainesville a little bit ago. You know, that's where University of Florida is. Smokey and the Bandit. That's the way we're doing it. Smokey and the Bandit style. She can get off, get us food, whatever else, and I just keep on trucking. Except my dog's a poodle, not a hound dog. Not a basset hound. <laughs> that Florida sun's strong. I'm certainly not complaining though. Well, enjoy your cuteness because we're about to have to shave you. Y'all have to get a shave, a shaving. Your hair is going to be shaved. Maybe I can find somebody to leave a little bit right here on your face. But all this fluffy got to go. This is already 82. What is it, March? I don't know, 2nd? 82 degrees. 
I can't wait for all the beautiful sunsets here in Florida because we're, you know, we're on the west coast on the Gulf and it's gonna just go right down into the water. You just wait. It's gonna be awesome. Got some decoys. You know, I'm from the coast outside New Orleans, so we got alligators all the time. We grew up with them. Most people think alligators, are, they're like, oh, alligators are scary, but they're thinking of crocodiles. Crocodiles are the ones that'll eat you. But let me tell you something you do need to watch out for. These little pets right here, because that is snack time right there. Alligator will eat your little poodle. So don't feed the alligator. I haven't seen any this year. No? Yeah. They usually have one or two around them. Take it easy. Hey. Are you excited, Coco? Where are you going? Coco. I need leashes and stuff. We're going to Honeymoon Dog Beach. I'm going to find the leashes. Coco. No, I mean. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. We're at the dog beach. Those, those little bulldogs were kind of, Frenchies or whatever they were, were kind of ornery, weren't they? Yeah. She's like, oh my God, there's dogs everywhere. Okay. You want me to go see the water? I need to pee, actually. Huh? I need to pee. <laughs> I feel like they're going to get in trouble. Monty, Coco! Dog beach, dogs everywhere. So one thing about going place to place to place is, you know, stuff's in style, different stuff's in style when you go different places. I know this would be funny to some of you because like who gives a crap right but it's just different attire well one thing is the shoes make a huge difference it's weird but it does because you know i love my Merrells. i love my Merrells. you know we started with the big ones like this and they're still good for like true hiking hiking but for every day i love i ended up getting these and i love them they're barefoot so they just slip right on and and they're super light and super comfortable but this is mountain river hiking that kind of this you know well we're in florida now so i had to change up and get the new beach shoe because <laughs> I'm actually walking around in this and people are like, what the heck is that? So you guys still get in some beats? You got to change your attire. So my point is, 
styles are kind of regional to some degree but nothing sets the tone like the shoes anyway i'm happy about my new beach shoes they're called dudes and remember what i told you when you're rving you can't have a bunch of stuff right gray shoes will save you because gray shoes go with black and blue they're a neutral gray is neutral perfect to get gray shoes He's a weaver and a button pusher and a leash biter. If you notice, we got some barbecue, but we can't we can't eat the potatoes out and whatever because and I've got the zero sugar. Time to get these pounds off. Because we gotta get the COVID baby gone. I know we've talked about this before. We keep starting it over and over and over. But you get to the beach and you gotta take your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, no it's a check, it's a reality check. You're like, okay, maybe I need to, uh... but anyway, we're loving it here in Florida right now. It's 81, sunny. <laughs> Bethany doing some booty jumping. The park had done that. Oh, they're raffling off the thing. We didn't buy a raffle, did we? Yeah, you should have bought a raffle. Uh-oh. But anyway, we're here. Got a new thing for the Blackstone. <laughs> Beth? Hmm? Where you doing? Look at the new lid. Oh, yeah. I cook steak at night and I had to come I gotta come burn it off, but it was late and I was That's a nice lid. I was tipsy, so I'll clean it. But look at the new lid. For the blackstone. Yeah, because you're you know you these things get really hot, which is good. So psh, psh, and then once you've got your crust in other kitchens I've had a problem getting the crust on the steak. Cause you can't get the pan hot enough where it cools down as soon as you hit one side right but this thing gets so hot you get your crust on the steaks and the steak ain't even done and mm. so unless you like it rare anyway cut it down put the lid on it and it'll continue to cook and that way it can cook the, a, a little slower mm. and and do the center or whatever but sometimes you need to shut the lid sometimes you're steaming Add some water, some vegetables, and you, like that. That'll that'll let it steam. Anyway, I'm real happy about my new lid, and that's OEM. OEM. Original parts, something. I don't know what it stands for, but OEM always stands for original. In other words, it's Blackstone okay. brand. It's the last time you're gonna be cute for a little while, Monty. Cause comfort, function over fashion is about to happen. We're gonna skin you like a neck and mole rat. Coco, Coco. Compose for the camera. It's the last time you're gonna be cute for a long while. Function over fashion. We gotta shave you down. I mean, like a super buzz cut. Why? Because the dog park here gets you dirty and we're bringing you to the beach and all that other stuff and I want to be able to wash you easy and you stay cool and dry quickly. Because right now, what I've noticed these kids, it's, it's the cutest thing. When they see her like this, I've heard them call out, look mom, a curly, an adult curly is what the last one said. And, it, and that's what, I don't know if they're all doing it, but that's the poodle you know when they like her hair blown out it'd be like real long right now but it curls up a curly i thought that was cute though but bye bye fluffy teddy bears say hello naked mole rat this dude's doing his harley right <laughs> got the ape hangers and the, yeah you got to see it it's done up if i can uh catch up with him
so we were showing y'all the rebel that showed it to me and in the last in another video that tommy's tommy's car wash takes dooleys and they have one in indiana and they're supposed to be pretty much around and we're in florida so i just went to a tommy's they had to change my location because i'm a member but um sweet washed a dually been dropping a lot of pollen here so it's nice to get it rinsed just picked them up. They look pretty good. Don't look too bad, Skint. Naked mole rats. Huh? Naked mole rat? So now we're in Florida and the Gulf side. What do you eat when you get down in the Florida? Fish steaks. There's black and grouper. I just made on the Blackstone. Black and where I'm from, where we do it. And then man, it goes with lemon so good. Shoot, and that was like fresh caught on the market. Yes, sir. I just had to shut everything down in here because they got to kill my power. They got to kill my power because they're kind of redoing the park and they put the power and the water in the same place. So we just had a huge geyser. They were here to fix the power line and Boom, hit the water, hit the water line. My rig was clean. All the way up to my roof. I tried to put the tarp over it. Yeah, I do, there wasn't nothing you could do. So, you see all this water? The other night I lost power. And uh, they came and put, can you see that? standing thing right there that was a temporary connector that got the power back on in the middle of the night well they left it here but it's not meant to be permanent so these guys have come to run the permanent power fix the permanent power and they nicked the water line whole parts out there was a geyser i don't know it had to at least be 14 feet because we're 13 point something in it went all the way on my roof. So about a 14 foot geyser, mud geyser. All over the back, look at my slide, all the way, probably the camera, back of the roof. Mud geyser. All over my power, my surge protection. Everything, look at it, just, just freaking covered. Even shot over here, look at my window. This whole back quarter is... Y'all know I just had this washed, right? So... What happened? I need to use the restroom. It's morning time. So I go use the restroom, realize the pump's not on. So I come out to swap over. To dry camping from city fixtures. And then you turn on your pump and then you use your fresh water. Well, I turned this valve off, but I've always told you to relieve the pressure. I've got to go in my bay here, and under there, there's a thing I can relieve the pressure off. I didn't do it. Why? I'm disoriented. You know, or I'm aggravated. You know, just need to flush the toilet, wash my hands, whatever, you know? Come out here, quickly do the thing, and turn it. And 
I don't have that big of hands, but I it just twisted right off. The handle twisted right off. Just to add more whatever you'd call it. I just ripped it right off. I don't know, is that pewter or what? I mean, it is soft for me, me to be able to do that. I mean, it is soft. You can see it, right? I mean, it's always kind of hard to turn anyway, but. Yeah, insult to injury. So the other night, it was the middle of the night, like I said, we lost power. They came out here, it took them hours to get the power back on. But thank goodness we got a generator and all that, you know, and it's not hot yet here. But yeah, starting to feel like I'm in the demon spot. But it's a beautiful day. Been riding around with the pups. I have to tour this park for you. It's, uh, it's the best around this area. It really is. But it's got its shortcomings. For one, it's 40 acres and they have 528 spots in it. <laughs> So you see how close everything is here. I don't, it's hard to tell on the camera, but. But, uh, it's the best around. And at least it has trees, it has plenty of trees. We're right across the, the dumps are over there, which is nice. And then this park is right over there. You can see all those beautiful trees. I'll ride through there. Hey, squirrel. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? So this is the park I was talking about. Look how shaded. And this is... Shades a godsend in the in the warmer climate. So of course it'll get so humid here that even in the shade it's like hot wind, but it's still some reprieve. But right now it's actually extra gorgeous because it's already it's like 75 and then this shade. Oh, they think they're going to the dog park. But see how beautiful, right? Look at these old oaks. And we're in northern Florida, so mossy oaks, kind of like you see in Savannah. See these live oaks with all that moss? Do they have palm trees here? They haven't removed all the pines, but mostly. This is what's cool about oaks. They, can, they go like this, and when I was a kid, they're easy to climb. See, you can just climb up on these things. We had even bigger ones where I'm from, and uh, the branches would even come down to the ground and like this, and you could just climb all over them. This is their dog park. There's only one problem with the dog park. It's sand, and sand here, because this is like North Florida. Now, it's weird, once you even get over to like dust in the panhandle and that's north florida it's different it's sandy sandy but some some uh, something about this region right here what they consider north florida is uh the sand is sand and dirt so when the dogs go there it's they just turn black with the let me see if i can show you It's sand and sand and dirt. Let me get in the light here. So shade is hard to get light. See how it's sand and dirt? Normally just sand would be a, a good thing for a dog park, but you know, to just sprinkle out, but of their fur, I mean. But yeah, not this sand. 
They need some material in there. You know how I like material. To be right. Oh. So we like our spot. Like I was saying, we're right across from the park. Look at that dirty mess over there. got the water back on. Ah, to be back in Florida. It's not quite South Florida, you know, I like the black beans and the yucca, but here they do red beans and plantains everywhere. Oh, look at the way they did their plantain. Look at that. Crunchy. Mmm, that's good. I got full pork white rice. And my red beans. Again, a lot of places do this. Philippines with their gravy on the side and they dip their fried chicken in the gravy and eat the rice plain. That's the way you do that. <laughs> you got the fried pork. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how it was going to come up. If it was going to be like, if it was going to be just, <laughs> what do you call it? I didn't know if it was just going to be pork skins almost, you know? So I, I got this just so we could cover our bases. Because he wants some of mine. You always want some of mine. That's the way we're built. That is fried pork chunks. <laughs> fried carnitas. Right? Mmm. -hmm.